We are concerned, for instance, when uh, uh, President Hakainde Sami Chilema, who is an elder, an elderly person, a father, a leader of the political party, resort to insults and vulgar language as a norm, as a way to campaign. We understand that after losing five times, of course, he must be very frustrated. We understand and sympathize with him, but he shouldn't take politics personal. He shouldn't be so hateful and so bitter to an extent that he thinks that insults, vulgar language, and printables are the way he should communicate to the people. For us as a party, we are not worried about the insults from Mr. Akainde, but we are worried about his well-being because he's our brother and would like to ask those who are close to him in all earnest that they should take keen interest because it is clear that Mr. Akainde is going through a mental breakdown. And these words, I'm saying them with love. Those who are close to him, they should check him. It is not normal, Zach, for a person of his standing, a leader of the largest opposition, a parent, a father, somebody who has been an elder in church, to be going from one rally to the next, insulting people in front of children, mothers, and young people. It is not normal. There must be something serious that is going on. And we are afraid. And as brothers, not as politicians, but as brothers, we want to urge all those that are close to Mr. Akainde Jilema to sit him down. He's truly going through a mental breakdown. We love him. We want him to bond the ballot. We want him to enjoy just like another Zambian. But this is not the kind of leadership that we expect. If you ask me why it has become very difficult for the Zambians to listen to the opposition, it's because they do not have the message. When we say, can they have a manifesto, it's because the manifesto will tell you what you are going to do and how you are going to do it. Do you know the manifesto they have come up with? Is to call all of us who do not agree with them as Mwankole. If you go on social media, they have put Mwankole and heads of all of us who don't agree with them as Mwankoles. You cannot insult people just because they do not agree with you. We cannot be Bamwankore just because we do not agree with you. And even when they insult, their leader has never at any time come in because that is exactly the kind of language that is pushing. I was reading today a post purported to have been posted on social media by Mr. Romeo Kangombe, who is a member of parliament for Sesheke. And that post justifies the insults of that young man who was insulting the president on video and it justifies such behavior. You see, the challenge that we have is that let us learn to, di to differ, but to differ respectively. Differ respectively. Zach, what if tomorrow they are in office? Is this the kind of Zambia that they want? Where insults, vulgar language, bitterness, hatred, tribalism is the order of the day? Is this the Zambia that they want? If tomorrow they are in power, will they feel good when they are told those insults? I don't think that is the Zambia that we want to see. So we urge our, our brothers and sisters in opposition. Ndare simanyozo. Ndare ni ukambisa abantu. Wauze ni abantu venemu sa chitida. Wauze ni abantu kula kwa kwa PFU. And how you, you are going to change things. The Zambian people are more interested to know how people will do things differently. I was laughing, I was reading a daily tabloid. I couldn't believe it. Mr. Hakainde Sami Chilema says, I'm ready to be president. And I've already written the 2022 budget. Ah, ah. Badara. You have failed to write an alternative budget from 2006 to date. How are you going to write a budget for 2022 when you have failed to write a party manifesto? Baba makangiwa kuleta tumbare panyumba 
kuti mkwatile mkazi but umuza tino nza kuatile nza kupasa na bana nza kumagira na nyumba but mbalisi mpereka if you cannot write a party manifesto as a political party you have failed to write a manifesto how are you going to write a budget for the nation so when we are talking about these issues these are serious matters because it affects the lives of the Zambian people the ordinary people out there they expect a lot from us if you go to social media, the insults, unbelievable. Just three days ago, for instance, I posted what Article 100, sub-Article 2 states about qualifications and disqualifications of a presidential candidate. One of them is that if you are a mental patient, you cannot be allowed to contest. That's what the Constitution says. And you know, as usual, the cadres from Chancellor Party came in and started insulting. Because that is a norm. I am afraid with the kind of politics. But that tells us one thing. This is what comforts us. This is why we say, come 2021, President Lungu is winning elections very, very comfortably for simple reasons. Our opposition have failed to demonstrate why they should be put in office.